think it's about time to make a personal domino project where I go all out with domino tricks and just make whatever I want. What's up, Domino community? Now, it's been about a year since I made my last personal record domino video where I just made a huge setup that covered the entire floor. It didn't have any theme. It was just a cool compilation of domino tricks all in one large space. And I am really excited because I'm gonna be starting a new domino project in the same style as my last personal record. I don't know if it'll actually be a new record. I might not have time to actually set up more than 32,000 dominoes, but my plan and my only goal for this domino project is to fill the entire floor space. Now I might not use my kitchen like last time, I might not use the hallway, but at least the main floor area I'd love to see that filled and just crammed jam-packed with dominoes with not a lot of floor space um, showing, you know, I really want to make the most of the space and build tall, use, use structures, maybe use the wall in some way. But that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm super pumped. So I just wanted to make this quick voiceover video to talk you through my process for how I make personal domino projects, specifically for this one, because I actually don't have any ideas list. Previously I made an ideas list of things I wanted to build, but for this one, I haven't really made anything. Like, I have maybe one general idea for a type of structure that I want to build, but other than that, I don't have any concrete details on what I'm going to set up. I'm just gonna try and build something and just see where it goes. Now this setup is gonna be a little bit different than my personal record because I'm gonna be making up most of the tricks on the spot, whereas quite a few of the main ideas um, that I had for my new domino record were actually thought out and I wrote them out on paper, but I don't make full plans necessarily, I just have like general ideas and then I start building. Now the only thing I'm worried about honestly is taking too much time to think of ideas. I think with this setup I just want to start building and not think about things too much but just build and see where it goes as a really like fully freeform domino setup. Like everything I imagine is kind of gonna be like a stream of consciousness. Like you know when you're writing something down you're not really thinking you're just moving your pen writing. That's how I imagine this setup is going to be except instead of writing I'm actually setting up dominoes and you know part of this is is also just because I, I do have a deadline that I want to finish this project by and I, I can't spend three months building it like my last record so um, yeah we're gonna have that in place and I don't really know what to build so if you do have any ideas like specific domino trick ideas I would love to hear them in the comments you know maybe that'll spark some more ideas maybe I can turn that into something and include it in the setup I love Love hearing your feedback especially from other people who you know watch domino videos or even build dominoes themselves like I would love to see some really high level like intricate ideas like crazy ideas and maybe I can actually bring it to life if you feel comfortable sharing that in the comments. I don't know how this setup is going to turn out. It could end up being very chaotic in the sense that like the last time I did a project like this I think was my it was called the riskiest domino setup ever or, or something like that and that project failed I think like three times and yeah it's just uh it's very very chaotic. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun to not just play around with what you're building but how you decide to build it you know whether that's planning out the entire master plan on paper with every single trick and every single line planned out or you know having a general ideas list or just not having anything and just going for it there's different styles of how you build that i i think is kind of fascinating and each time i try a different style i learn something new from that process and part of it is just like very exciting in the same kind of way because like when i do for example a more professional project for a brand, they do like to see a more detailed concrete floor plan that has all of the tricks in place so that they can improve it, which makes sense. And that, it uses like a different kind of part of my brain, I feel like, because you have to think about things in a different way and, and make sure that the domino lines are going to work before you build it. Like everything needs to be thought of ahead of time. And that, in a sense, I think affects how the setup looks, right? Sometimes you want a look where it looks very clean 
where everything is spaced out evenly. You have a lot of straight lines or maybe, you know, very perfect curved edges and, and corners and places where it turns. You know, maybe that's the style that you want to go for. And it is necessary to make a more full plan. Other times, maybe you are going for a more chaotic style that just goes all over the place. It switches back and forth. You have tricks that maybe you didn't expect to see topple, but you know, once you start watching the video, you're like, oh, you, it surprised you, right? And then maybe there's another type of setup where like, you have no idea what's going on, <laughs> which like can be kind of fun in a way to like figure it out as a viewer, but also it just gives it a lot more variation in terms of the projects that you make and can be just a cool learning experience. So that's what I'm going to go for with this project. <laughs> Part of me is like kind of scared at the same time because I of course want it to be a good setup, but I'm like, do I need to plan things out or think of ideas to make it a good setup? Because I know for my last record, I thought a lot, like a lot about individual tricks and how to make a trick really good, how to use the colors in the best way and put the dominoes in, in a certain pattern to make it more exaggerated. But with this setup, I'm not really going to think about it too much. I'm just going to start building and see where it goes on the fly and part of me thinks that like it could be less interesting because of that but maybe it's just different maybe it's just unique maybe it's just a different style yeah it's just interesting to think about how this project is going to turn out but that's part of the fun right it's going to be a surprise for you for me of course too and Hopefully at the end, you you like it. I will be documenting my process through time lapse and voiceover videos like this in the next couple of weeks, and then posting the fall down on Hevish 5 in a couple of weeks. I'm very excited to see how it comes out. And uh, yeah, if you have any trick suggestions, again, just leave those in the comments down below. I'll definitely take a look at those. I wanna give a shout out to our featured community member, Domino Studios, who has been making some fantastic Domino videos recently. I definitely recommend checking out their channel. And as always, I'm Lily Hevish, and keep on building. <laughs>